Valerian came to power after Aemelian's men mutinied against him, which is exactly how Aemelian came to power over Gallus. Unlike the tolerant Philip and the short timers who had other problems, Valerian kicked it like Dacius and got back to killing Christians, in fact, turning those persecutions up to 11. As per usual with third century emperors, the honeymoon was brief. Hey, congrats, buddy. Here's your crown. Here's your parade. Here's a dozen horrible problems you have no chance of fixing. Enjoy the rest of your brief, violent time on this here mortal coil. As Valerian came to power, the empire was cracking badly at its furthest latitudes on both sides, so he sent his son and co-emperor Gallienus to deal with the west, while he himself concentrated on the east. This went badly. After losing the Battle of Edessa in 260, Valerian was taken prisoner by the Persians, which was a massive, horrible culture shock for Romans. The Persian king Shapur used Valerian as a human footstool to mount his horse. Oh, the indignity. We don't actually know if it's true, but according to one account, Shapur killed Valerian by forcing him to swallow molten gold, and then stuffed him and kept him as a trophy in his temple. 